Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. So many people are asking about the word for word correct translation of verse 9 of Surah Al Hajr 15. Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. I've already explained this verse in my numerous articles and I believe I've already explained this verse in one of my YouTube videos in which I've drawn your attention towards the word lahafizun. Wow and noon. Un coming in the end of Lahafizun, which makes it a plural word. It's not a singular. Lahafizun is a plural word. While we believe Allah, or God, is a singular word. How God or Allah can be Hafizun? Un is a sound plural. How a single entity of God or how a single entity of Allah can be a plural? Hafizun. Since Lahafizun is a plural word. That's why all translations of this verse are total false. I've already explained the word zikr, which is notation, a notification, a message, inscription, and scripture. So, the correct translation of Quranic verse 9 of Surah Al Hajr, number 15, is that we send down our inscription and that for its upholders. If you look at the verse number one of the same surah Al Hajr, chapter 15, Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayat Al Kitab Yu Quran Mubin, you will automatically find the correct meaning of zikr coming in verse 9. Because the zikr directly refers to Quran and Mubin coming in the verse 1 of the same chapter 15 of Surah Al Hajr, Wa Quran Mubin. Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayat Al Kitab Yu Quran Mubin. The word for word correct translation of Quranic verse 9 of Surah Al Hajr 15 لحافزون, is that we've revealed, that we sent down, that we descended our inscription and that for its upholders and for its keepers and for its preservers and for its retainers. So the word for word correct translation of verse 9 of Surah Al Hajr chapter 15 is coming to mean that we send down our scripture and those who preserve it. Or, we send down our scripture and those who uphold it. Or, that we revealed, that we descended our inscription and that for its upholders and that for its maintainers and for its keepers and for its preservers and for its retainers. Retainers, upholders, preservers, maintainers and keepers are different to the single entity of Allah. They are different things. It can't be Allah. Otherwise, if you translate that Allah preserves it, or if you translate that Allah preserves the Quran, that means the Hafizun is telling you that so many gods, so many Allahs. The Hafizun is a plural word which refers to so many people, which refers to so many things, which refers to many things, more than one. But the God or Allah is only one, is only one, is a single entity, is a single entity, is only one. That's why the Quran didn't choose the plural word Lahafizun for God, for Allah. I believe that all of you are sensible people. If you use your sense, if you use your brain, you will automatically understand that a plural word Lahafizun cannot be used for a single entity of Allah. Simple as that. That's why all translations of this verse are false. See you in the next video. Thanks ever so much. Bye bye.